off, what's, what's New Mexico going to bring to the table? Well, I mean, they're one of the um, better executing teams that we have in the, in the league. I mean, their record shows it. And, um, I mean, they're really going to execute their stuff. They're not going to beat themselves. Um, they're going to be physical. And I know they already know they're going to play hard every night. Tyler, I know we talk a lot about the offense struggling a lot. I'm pretty sure you're tired of us kind of hearing about that. You've kind of been the constant dog leading scorer. I know during San Diego's day you would have liked to have had a couple of those lights back and, and open jumpers back, but how frustrating is it to, to maybe look like, you know, the hoops, like the biggest can of Campbell, and it's pretty small. Um, I mean, it feels good. I feel, I mean, I put in enough time. I mean, a lot of us put in, you know, a lot of time in order uh, to be good at this game and to put the ball in the hoop. I mean, if it were that easy, everybody would be doing it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would like to have some of them back, but... Kind of got to move forward from them. Can't dwell on them too much because we got a big game coming up against uh, another great opponent. So, what's that like going through a Mountain West Conference where it's just every game is just, it's so tough? I think you guys are playing a fifth ranked team, um, the fifth time you're playing a ranked team this year, and uh, up against another one tomorrow. Night. I mean, this is why we came to college. Though. A lot of us, you know, you don't want to come to college to play against the lower uh, level of competition. You you always want to compete against the best to see where you measure up. So. Um, it's always exciting knowing that you have to bring your, your best game every game or else you can get blown out. You know, again, with, with the offense, what are some things that you guys have to work on as a team? You know, get those shooting percentages higher and be more efficient. Uh, probably, I mean, a lot of it has to do with team chemistry. I mean, we got a lot of new guys coming in, and we have, uh, I mean, Braden, you know, now he's in here, and now he's kind of got to get into the fold, and it's just... Uh, kind of getting everybody to work together as opposed to, uh, I mean, everybody was maybe the best player on their old team, but now they got to come in here and, and work together. And we'll get, we'll get it rolling. We'll definitely get it rolling and just take some time. What's it been like getting right in there? It's not a lot of 6'9 guys that can come in and start playing right away, kind of like a nice addition to the way through the youth field. Oh, yeah, definitely. Any, any extra big obviously helps. And he has a motor, too, so we already know he's going to bring it every night. I just coach real quickly, you know, your two wins in conference have been at home. Is it as simple as home court advantage, or what is it about the St. Mark's Center and the Pains that uh, you, know, you guys play a little bit extra well at? Well, I mean, being at home, and everybody plays a little bit better at home, I mean, feeding off the crowd, but um, Coach always talks about not having the crowd bring energy to you, you bring energy to the crowd, so um, I wouldn't say it's so much as playing at home. I mean, I think in preseason, most of our wins were on the road, so I think what it really just comes down to is um, whoever uh, is executing better that night. Yeah, and Mount West play, how is it like playing in some of those hostile environments like New Mexico, uh, San Diego State? Uh, like I said earlier, that's fun. That's why you come here, to play against, you know, and have 16,000 people yelling at you and uh, calling you every name in the book. I mean, that's fun. That's, that's why you come. It's a good environment, and uh, it's fun to play in front of them. And, you know, the, with, with the remainder of the season, last couple games. What, what are some of the goals that you guys really have in mind for the team? Uh, just, I mean, keep uh, keep getting better every game, obviously, improvement, just making sure we're not taking steps back, nobody's packing it in. Understand that we still have games uh, to get back into this race. You see how close it is. Um, no matter what's happened so far, we still can, can get back right into the middle of the pack, get out of this little playing game that they have for the tournament and set ourselves up. Um, with some momentum going into that last tournament. Crazier things have happened. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Hey,